Hello, this is Mike, the philosopher engineer. Welcome to another episode of Just a Minute or Two with Mike. Today's topic is focus on function. Now, this is part of our weekly theme that is proactive product development. And we're talking about using models and understanding things. But here I want to focus specifically on function. Now, there's a lot of ways to look at function. But first, I'm just going to go through sort of what they call the V model. But where do our functions come from? What's required? Well, most products, you have the marketing requirements. That is, what is, what is this product? Why do we have it? What do we want it to do? And then that turns into a product requirements. Uh, and then the product requirements might be a little bit qualitative, but they have to be quantitative and sort of the technical side of it. So however you capture that, the technical requirements, what does this thing have to do in quantifiable terms? How much energy does it have to use? Uh, how many pounds of force? How, what fluid rate does it have to pump? All those things are technical. And that's for the system, that's your product. But then you wanna break that system into subsystems. So you may have a number of subsystems, and whether you do this formally or not, you really want to understand what each subsystem has to do, all the functions of that subsystem. And it could be a complicated subsystem or a simple one. And then the subsystem is built up of individual interfaces. So that's really where two parts come together for a function. You know, so that, that could be two gears that come together. That could be a snap and another feature. Uh, it could be um, a sensor. It could be all sorts of things. So... Um, the subsystem and the interface are really important, and then you get down to the components. And the component geometry and materials and strength have to be able to support those functions all the way through the system. So that's our focus on function. The key about that is to have a systematic process to identify every function of your product. And that's very doable, and then you, know, you do the math and you find the failures. That's really that process. Um, that can't be kind of done you know, kind of uh, informally. It's a systematic process where every single function is identified and every single function we calculate. We usually want to do the math and then the simulation where appropriate. And then depending on how much design margin and how critical, we'll do additional analysis to make sure that we have it right because we don't want failure. We don't like that at all. That's it. Uh, just a minute or two with Mike. We'll talk again very soon. I hope you're having a great week. Next topic will be doing the math. We'll talk about how, how we do that, how we recommend that you do that as well. Um, so you have sort of that scoping analysis and that framework, and then you can do simulation. So again, we'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful week. Thank you very much. Bye.